Welcome back. We keep learning more and more about people who aren't just overcoming one barrier, but multiple barriers. And today's edition of Demolishing Barriers, brought to you by Scott Equipment, is no different. Demo diva Simone Cruer is here with Ang Angelica Rivera's story. A bit tongue tied there this morning. Good morning. Welcome back. Good morning. This is a fabulous story. This couple. English is their second language, moved to New Orleans post Katrina. He was a handyman. They, she was in the mortgage business, lost her, her job, already had two children. This right. wasn't like young entrepreneurs thinking, let me Start come up a business. With, yeah. right. This was boots on the ground. We're in survival mode. Her husband went from handyman to certified contractor to a very successful commercial contractor here in New Orleans. This is a great story. And not easily done at that. No. All right. Thanks, Simone. Well, let's take a look. This is our building uh, in Fabulous. here. Fabulous. Yeah. And this year, Rue Carré was our first commercial project. Uh, we did a food call on O.C. Haley. I just love sitting in this office because this is the picture of the American dream. <laughs> and you, Thank my you. friend, have an awesome story. I am so impressed with you. And I can't wait to hear, where did all of this start? Well, Colmex start uh, 11 years ago. Actually, uh, on June will be 11 years. Congratulations. We, thank you. We came from Orlando, Florida with my husband after losing everything with the reception of 2007. I was a mortgage broker in Florida. Wow. And we actually lose absolutely everything. You had a lot of challenges when you came to New Orleans. Exactly. No, and, and, and it wasn't easy because first, we I didn't have any any background on, on, on construction, didn't have experience I at all. I know that feeling. Exactly. Uh, no money. English is my second language and a woman in the construction industry. So. And did you even have friends or a network here in New Orleans? When we got here, we didn't know nobody. And not only that, but a month later, I was pregnant again with oh. <laughs> my third child. So I was like, really? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, it was really, it was really interesting at the beginning and, and actually it was really hard at the beginning. I remember that I used to go to these uh, classes, the construction classes, and there was like 40 men and me uh, oh, there. Wow. And even in one occasion, one of them came up to me and say, Angelica, you should be at home with your kids. This is not a place for a woman. At the beginning, I cried uh, that, that afternoon and I went home and told my husband about it. And he's like, really, you're gonna let that? I mean, that should be pushing you to, to do it. So, so and, and we do, I mean, we work pretty good together. He knows a lot about the construction. He knows how to solve problems out there but he doesn't have an idea about administration and management. I have an idea. I did study business administration in Florida, so that helped me a lot how to manage everything. And, and so it, it's, it's a really good compliment. Those wow. are the houses that we did. That was funny because we were driving piles in the middle of the night. Oh my goodness, goodness. you did all these? Yes, there's a total of five. I'm, and I'm looking at the demo, you a dumpster there. Yeah. <laughs> How many houses have you built in New Orleans in the last 11 years? Uh, I think we went over the 200 houses so Unbelievable. far. In the, yeah, in the Unbelievable. Best, yeah. That is so exciting. It is. If we need to get it out straight, I mean, how? Yeah, yeah, over there. Straight here. Something that I learned that helps me tremendously because that was one of my weaknesses that at, at the beginning was delegate. I thought that I was. I, I needed to do everything, or it didn't get done right. And then I learned that the delegated is the key of success. I mean, we uh, now everyone in my office knows more than me, and I'm happy to say that. I mean, they they they're an expert in the in yes. their area, so I know how to do a little bit of everything. I know how everything runs, but they're they're the experts. We try to help the community. Like we do have an incubator for smaller businesses that we tell me that about we, that. So this is the incubator, and the idea wow. behind the incubator was the struggle that we have when we start our businesses. We didn't have an office. I have my kids at home, and clients walk in, and and actually that was one of my goals. But it was too expensive to have an office. You had to pay someone to be there, services, and these are adorable, cute offices. They are, and 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 actually this was one of my dreams when I was when I started my company having an office I'm like there should be a place where um, you can actually share with other businesses so when we got the opportunity to have the building that was the first thing that we thought about it we're like let's do it you have demolished a lot of barriers what two are you most proud of Wow that's a good question uh, actually I think uh, being able to create this balance between family and work I think that's when you, 
money is not is not what tell you if you're success, successful or not. I don't think that's that's the key. I think the key is to be able to have a balance with family and, and work, and the fact that I can uh, go tomorrow on on vacation for a month and everything is going to be running just like if I'm here. That's what I'm proud of, and that's what I, uh, create this huge team. Uh, that is, I mean, everybody in my team is is a key uh, uh, person. So. Uh, having that great team, I think, is what I'm most proud of it. Wow, Simone. So talk about starting from nothing and, as you mentioned in the piece, I mean, the American dream. The, completely. And the, the part of the American dream is the law of reciprocity, again, sewing back into her community, schooling those young subs that she, ne she needs and also wants to help those small businesses grow with her incubator system. She's also been recognized by the governor and she now sits on the entrepreneurial board for the state of Louisiana. So for her. many Very happy. accomplishments for Angelica. Definitely, thank you so much, Simone. So if you know someone you would like to see on Demolishing Barriers, email the Great Day team at greatday at wwltv.com.